And welcome back to Spoiler Kings. I'm Brian the Grizzly here with Brand Man Brandon. What's up? Same old, same old. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are here. We're going to talk about this new uh, Prime Video show, Batman the Cape Crusaders, season one. Um, lots of action. It's animated. So in case you're wondering, um, I think it's really cool. I'm enjoying it. Um, basically, it's like they have Batman's like uh, fighting crime in the Grim City of Gotham City. Uh, he still he's he's Bruce Wayne, he's a philanthropist. Uh, he's you know, just doing what he can do in the night. He's still the, the greatest de- detective, but you can see him making mistakes through it. And a lot of cool characters they've swapped out a little, little gender swaps. They've done uh, race swapping and, and a couple of things. But all of it, I think, works. But that's just me from the the, the the beginning. What do you think about it, Brandon? You know, I love the approach. I really like the animation. I like how kind of muted yet kind of vibrant it is. I like the 40s setting. I like, uh, you know, James Reeves or Matt Reeves' involvement is very, very evident. Um just with the detective noir vibe, which I'm a really big fan of when it comes to Batman. So um, the 40s setting just kind of adds to that. Um, in some points, the animation also kind of reminds me of one of my favorite animated DC movies, Justice League New Frontier. Kind of re- kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I think the voice acting is really great. Uh, Hamish Linklater, uh, I believe is his name, does the voice of Batman. I, I really love his take. You know, when we think of Batman voice acting, you know, who do we automatically think of, right? I mean, um, right? Some, of the, some of the greatest ones of all time. I'm not sure if I ever, I'm not sure I want, wanted anything else. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, um, but yeah, you know, Kevin Conroy, you know, it's, he's it's, the best. you know, he's, he's the best, we, like. But we've had Kevin Conroy, yeah. we've had Jensen Ackles, I mean, we still got Michael mm-hmm. Keaton. You have yeah. people that have, that have done it in live action, you have done things that have done in animated form. We've had mm-hmm. a lot of different people, but Conroy is probably the best of all of them. Um, but, you know, he took it and made it his own, so I agree with yeah. what you're agreeing with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm 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 really um enjoying it though. Um I like the music. I love the opening um the opening credits are super cool. Like the closing credits are super cool. And you know the take that they're the approach that they're taking I'm fine with it. In the end it's just another interpretation. It's just an, um you know there's there's plenty of those and I can't really be mad at that, you know. Them gender swapping the penguin I'm I'm good with it, you know. Um it's 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 fine, you know. It's it's just another take. So I'm 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 pretty good with it, and I like. Uh, th- there's a lot of elements that still feel very Batman. Like I love the um, I love the relationship between Bruce and Alfred in this particular one. Yeah, um, yeah I like. Um, I, I I like that they're kind of going more grounded with it. And that goes for a lot of the uh, characters, a lot of the villains. Like even what they did with Clayface felt a lot more um, grounded than what we're usually do than, than what we're used to with him. Like in in a way, it felt like an extension of the Matt Reeves Batman movie um, in terms of how like kind of kind of more grounded and smaller they're going with it, which I appreciate. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm loving it so far. All right, so I'm enjoying it, but with a few problems I've had. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like that's exactly what you were saying that you like. I, I do, I do think it seems too small because that I always think Spider Man very you know neighborhood friendly Spider Man Batman can be so much more epic, you know, and mm-hmm. and because we've had so much Batman, I'm just used to seeing more and more world worldwide scale and i feel like mm-hmm. a lot of what we're getting from him is very just very local and i think it makes sense um especially with the setting and what was going on in the world at the time i do think that it works but it just that's not what i'm used to when i'm in my batman 
And mm-hmm. you know, I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't say I like things that are comic book ac- accurate. And this is it. it there is. I said, you know, Bat- Batman by Gas. Like there, there's things that are that way, you know. But that's not my favorite iteration of Batman. So you know, that's that's that. But that's that's me, right? That's my, my own own things that I like. That has nothing to do mm-hmm. with the show. I think the show sure. has been done well. You know, I have no problem with, you know, Barbara Gordon or Commissioner Gordon or anything like that like, being different, you know, mm-hmm. being black. I have no issues with that. I, I, I don't care about Penguin being different. I, I have no mm-hmm. care, not, no care at all about that. Um, I have no problem with, Har- I like Harley Quinn. I like the idea of what they're doing with Harley Quinn. I like the idea of what they're doing except Clayface. I like Christina Ricci. I just will always have a heart, special place in my heart for Christina Ricci, and her as Catwoman has worked for me. <laughs> oh, I worked. love her. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, you know, I've always been a fan. I've always been a fan of Christina Ricci's. Um, I think she actually deserves a much bigger career than than what she currently has, and she's been kind of working a lot more consistency consistently, like with this Yellow Jacket. So. I'm 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 down for her just getting all the roles, and yeah, I, I like her take on Catwoman, too. But with all those positive things I'm saying, not as I found myself wandering off a little bit, mm-hmm. and and not that it's the show's fault or anything like that. It just Sometimes when you have the '40s vibe, sometimes it's a little slow. Sure, just, just a little bit. And and I I did find myself you know looking at other things, even looking down at my phone or looking that look at it in a comic book or something like that. I found mm-hmm. myself doing those things um, as much as I've enjoyed. And I, I've only watched the, the first four episodes, so I'm not going to sit mm-hmm. here and say like I've watched the entire thing. Um, yeah, I haven't finished the entire thing just yet. But from what I'm seeing right now. You know, I'm I'm excited to see the second half. You know, same. So, mm-hmm. um, right now, um, I, I just I'm kind of hovering on like a B, B minus. You mm-hmm. know, so the first episode was treacherous uh, in treacherous waters, and be a villain is the second one. Kiss the cat woman was the third, which I really liked. Uh, mm-hmm. The night of the hunters was the fourth. Actually, I did. I've, I've watched the stress of of uh, of her regard too. I've seen that too. Mm-hmm. So I've seen the first five episodes. Um, I am yeah. going to have to watch the next five to really kind of gauge what it is, but I think it's interesting. It's an interesting take. Yeah, and I'm I'm not I'm not hating it. Yeah, I like it. I like All it so right. far. Let's see what everyone else is saying about this. Danny says, I really thought it was interesting. Batman is really violent in the uh, third in, in the in the language. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alma Bear says, I think they undercooked it and called it a lava cake. Like they made a mistake. They didn't push it as much. And yeah, it's not great. Okay. I understand. I understand that. Hey, um, I like lava cake. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that's my favorite dessert. Me. You didn't finish it all the way. You and you call a lot because yeah, that's what it was. It was supposed to be this, you know. And she said, I couldn't get through it. But that if that's not her iteration, if that's not her Batman, I can understand it. If that's not what mm-hmm. she wants from Batman. Yeah. Uh Danny says, hmm. I'm the opposite. I was very interested in seeing each episode. The season finale was on point. Saw the story arc and uh, set up for the season two. I'm all in. Okay. So we're only halfway through, so we haven't seen all the stuff yet. Uh, she said, they tried something different, and it wasn't my thing. Exactly. Not being a fan of gender swapping does add to it. I And I, when people say that, you have, it's not negative or positive or anything. It's just when they're wonderful women characters that are already women characters, you don't feel like you have to gender swap to make it more matter more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it they matter already enough. There are great characters there are they are already there. So you don't need to gender swap to try to make the character more interesting. That in mm-hmm. itself is seen as a problem. I gotcha. Yeah. 
So I, I feel her. So the only um gender swap they have is the penguin. It's a little wonky at first, but if you're a fan of Gotham, um he was gay on on there, so no biggie. Well, mm-hmm. it's different than being a woman. Yeah, so mm-hmm. uh, and she says, for me, gender swapping is unnecessary, particularly in a world where they already have a large se- uh, selection of female characters. It's exactly what I was just saying. Yo, know, you already have these great, you have Poison Ivy, you have Catwoman, you, ha- you already have these great characters that are already female, so why don't you highlight them instead of having a gender swap? It's the same thing I would have <laughs> about race swapping and certain certain uh, characters. You know, I don't need it to be that way. Okay, so... Kenny said, uh, I got like two episodes left of the Cape Crusader. It's got better as the season goes on. And, and I said, there, there were some slow parts for me. There are definitely some slow parts. Here's Dark on this. Don't be uh, like his gloves on there. Not a fan of the car. His gadgets aren't up to par like we are accustomed to. Batman's mm-hmm. voice is on point. Kevin Conroy would be proud. Really like his voice. That's what you said. Really enjoy his voice. Mm-hmm. Even the difference yeah. between him and you know, Batman and Bruce Wayne. That was interesting too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It's it's I, I kind of like that um he's constantly in Batman mode. You know, it really enforces the reinforces the fact that uh Batman is the persona who he is, and then Bruce Wayne, the Playboy, is 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 the um the real author ego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is part so, of why uh, I didn't like the Batman as much as you did. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I loved it. I, I loved how he was constantly in Batman mode. Said, uh, the Batman voice was good. I'll give that. Kenny says, I don't mind gender swapping. It doesn't take away from anything I've enjoyed before. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Then the relationship between Bruce and Alfred is disrespectful. Wasn't a fan of that. But the arc at the end was good to see. Okay. McKinney says, I love what they've done to, with Harley Quinn. You'll see. Mm-hmm. You'll see. <laughs> so the rate the race swap doesn't bother you? Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Um, no. It wasn't I wasn't the biggest fan of what they did to Clayface. It was a little too tame for someone who can do so much. I can see it being tame. Um, I think, um, it just kind of fit with, um, it just kind of fit with, with the overall tone of the show, like direction of the show, I thought. Which I can understand, but I understand what, what Anzo is saying. Yep. It's a little boring because he's not mm-hmm. able to do as much as you want, want, want to do. Uh, Danny says, I watched the whole series. Y'all will love the final episode. It'll all come together. Mm-hmm. I do kind of wish they dropped it, uh, weekly. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I, I want that because it, it builds yeah. my anticipation for the show. We have we have been on and off spoiled with um with with series being um like the whole series being dropped, but uh yeah, I kind of um I was okay with it. <laughs> Didn't have to wait, so, which is nice. Mama Bear said it bothers me. I'm increasingly becoming tired of race swapping, like gender swapping. It feels lazy. And that's huge for me because you know how I feel about you know with gender and all this. Like you, when you already have the characters and you swap them so often because you feel like there there's nothing inter- interesting about the people that already are there. That does bother me. Mm-hmm. You know, I I think you have to give respect to the characters that are there and, and highlight them. So I understand when people say that. I totally could get it. I totally get it. Yeah, Anzo says they. Uh, I think Harley Quinn's show is better. It's different. Yeah, that's what it's different. It's just, it's just what that is. This is something that's just starting. Harley Quinn's shows have multiple seasons, and it's a lot more raunchy. But you know, some people want a more grounded Batman that's based in, you know, not craziness all the time, more detective, more toned down. So some people want that too. Very true detective-ish. I love that you understood my lava cake metaphor, Brian. Yeah, I definitely got you. As someone who cooks, I know. <laughs> I don't think they've uh, gender swapped to make it um, 
matter more. I don't think they tr- are trying to say that is uh definitive Batman. This is the definitive Batman. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. But I think what Mama Bear is saying is that, that you already have other women characters you could have brought in. You didn't have to use Pink when you could use someone else that's already a female character. That's mm-hmm. all. What's about you here? Sorry, but I got to say, Batman's uh, most deadliest uh, bullying voice sounds super sinister. I don't know who the voice actor is, but uh, it's the most sinister voice I've heard for for that character. Hmm. Is it the most sinister voice? I don't know. Hmm. That's a good question that you brought up. I, I don't have an immediate answer. And thinking about it, I, I don't mind his voice, but it might be more sinister. You might be right. Mm-hmm. He says, I view every iteration of characters animated or, or movies just as another story in the multiverse, so I don't get too upset when the creators try something. That's that's what I was getting at. I think Kenny just worded it a little more um, more aptly than, than, than I did. Mm-hmm. Says, Is someone at my door? Go check. All right. So knowing they've also race and gender swapped freeze for the new Arkham game leaves us a little, leaves a sour taste. Okay. And Deuce says, it's just lazy. Hmm. And Danny says, you haven't seen the end episode. So maybe it changes as we go along. I kind of understand uh, where, where some people are. Um, Cause I, I am that well, with a lot of gender and race swapping myself. Uh, you because you don't have to if especially if you have those characters, but if it goes with the story, if it goes with the story. Then you know I, I'm willing to give you the opportunity, see what it is, and then at the end I'll make my own decision if it was unnecessary or not. You know, so the voice you uh, will hear, you will understand when you hear it at the end. Okay, okay, I I understand what you're saying. So we will see where we, we, we go with this. Um, as I said, I'm only five episodes in, but I am enjoying what we're doing. Um, but I have complaints. There's no, it's not a perfect show. But oh, I'd absolutely rather, not. But I'd rather get content. Mm-hmm. Give me content. Give me different tr- stories. Give me th- Let me decide if I like it or not. Let me figure that out. Yeah. Last man, what's up? Did y'all you, you trap yet? No, we have not. That is next. <laughs> oh, yeah. We actually want to do another, <laughs> uh, another trailer and then we'll do trap. Uh, but that is our thoughts on Batman Cape Crusader. I think it's you know gone off to a pretty good, pretty good start. I'm enjoying <laughs> a lot of what, what's going on. There are some things I've had problems with, you know, but. I think we're going to in, end up seeing. I want, I want to see the last episode. The last episode is going to tell me a lot about what was happening, and I'll make a decision on what was this race swapping or gender swapping even necessary, and how much I like. So I cannot mm-hmm. wait to talk about those things. I can't wait to hear Brandman's opinion on these things, <laughs> and I can't wait to hear your guys' opinion on this stuff. So if you're watching this later, please drop a like. Let us know what you think when you're kind of comments of the Batman the Cape Crusader. And um, we will see you guys in the next episode.